hi it's Christy you from Christy's reviews and more today I'm gonna be reviewing another coloring book you know with adult coloring book being a big fad right now well actually some people say it's a fad I say it's a hobby who knows you know what do you think let me know anyways this book is also by another Christy well Christina Duncan at least this is the amazing reef coloring book in volume one so as you're going to see, there's going to be some images on the back. And it talks a little bit about the author. Um, she's an avid reefer and scuba diver. She understands the passion for the underwater world. <clears throat> so there's a little bit more about that as far as more about the author. Um, so with this, it didn't really say on the cover how many pages are included. Um, but we can kind of go through that. I'm going to do a quick flip through of the book. There are three pages missing just because I've taken them out to color. And I'll show you them when we get to that point. So, here's the beginning of the book. There's no inner, you know, title page or anything like that. Straight into the coloring. So, as you can see, they're mostly related. I see a lot of koi fishes. Which is okay because I think... They are beautiful. I think Little Nemo. Alright, so you see more. Some of these fishes are real pretty. Like I'm picturing in my head of what they look like in real life. And all the vibrant colors that they put off. And you'll see some more of the images. I think you can hear the rain in my video. It's raining. All right, we got some more fish here. And that is the last. There also were like two empty blank pages in the back. I'm not sure if that was intentional or whatnot. Um, I wish this book did have perforated edges just because it would be easier to take them out of the book. What I did is I just kind of flattened my edges and took an X-Acto knife down the binding. And that way I easily took out my picture and still kind of kept it at a straight edge. So let me show you the pictures that I took out of the book and colored. So the first picture I worked with was this one. So on this particular picture I used all colored pencils and then some neon highlighting color pencils. I also added a little bit of squiggly in the back and some water bubbles. The second picture I did is this one. So with this one I mainly used a fine line marker. I did put a tiny little color pencil to give it a little bit of blending, but most of this was all done in fine line markers. I love these pictures. Um, I love fish. And how pretty they are. One thing about this one that I didn't like and wish was a little bit better was down here on the bottom. You couldn't really tell that this was coral. Um, so I had a difficult time coloring it because I didn't know where the lines ended, where they began, or how to really define the proper shape. Now the last one I took out, I'm not quite done with it, but this is all done in gel pen only. All three mediums that I used were pretty good. Um, you have a little bit of a bleed through with the markers, color pencils, uh, and I mean gel pens, excuse me. Not really in color pencils, absolutely none. So now let me tell you what I think about this book. Again, I love fish. I love the vibrant colors. Look at the reef. Look at the coral. Look how pretty that is. My only thing is some of these pages had a hard time for me to define what was what in the picture. This one's not so bad. I can pretty much see all the lines and figure out where the eyes are, where the fins are, and this and that. <clears throat> this one's not so bad. But as I kind of went through the book, there are a few images that made it a little bit tougher for me to identify where things started and began. Um, for example, down here. It would have been better if I could have had a better look at the reef. So I knew what, what the coral actually looked like. To me, it looks just kind of blotchy. Still love the pictures, though. 
that'd be pretty much my only suggestion in this book is some clear defined lines when it comes to the reef and the coral um, the fish for the most part were pretty easy to identify I did have a few troubles on um, him I had a, a little bit of problems with his eyes it's a little bit messy oh and down here I had to add some extra lines to the fish because it was kind of faded and then on these fish right here you can see like this one this just chopped off I'm not sure where's the other end of the fish is it just floating in the water is it a dead fish or what so I was a little uncertain about that but I check out that turtle that is a cute turtle i really like it again some of the lines i wish were a little bit darker so we've got a variance of some darker lines some lighter lines i love grayscale and this reminds me of the grayscale but i would like to see a little bit more clear definition on some of the detail again you know this is just one room view in my personal opinion and my preferences um but again i have nothing bad to say about the book i mean those are my only suggestions i really do love i was excited actually because i love fish and all these pictures on the cover reminded me of salt water fish i've always wanted a salt water water fish tank but didn't have the time to maintain and manage it so it was really exciting for me to get this book i usually like i went back to the first one I'm always usually embellishing my photos with extra stuff if there's a lot of white extra space. So some of these are a little bit more challenging. Some of them are a little bit plainer. I, like I said, embellished with bubbles. Now these are just some few quick colorings that I've done on this one. Um, but again, you know, if you like fish and you're interested in coloring some really beautiful fish, um, definitely check it out. Like I said, my only suggestion would be a few darker lines on the detailed areas so that way I can find out where the lines start and end. Other than that, please check out my video or my website, excuse me. The video will be posted there. I'll post some links down below on the Amazon and where you can find it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll be glad to help you out with anything you have or direct you in the right spot. Um, also the reviews full review will be on the website. Thanks so much for watching again. This is Christy at Christy's Reviews and More.com. Thank you. Have a great day.